Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So let us today understand about the simulation of universal op amp using LT spice. Okay. So I will run the simulation and I will show you how universal op amps works and I will also explain the parameters of universal op amps, right? So let us start now. So you can see here this is operational amplifier this u1 is operational amplifier and it is universal op amp so let us see what all are the parameters for universal op amp right so you can see the parameter is avol that is open loop voltage gain and for the universal op amp let us see let us say it is 1 mega ohm this is GBW that means gain bandwidth product this is 10 mega ohm and you can see here the output offset voltage is given 0 and you can also find some other parameter like the R in that is input impedance of universal op amp is 500 mega ohm which is which tends to infinite you know you can assume you can think the how much the value of 5 mega ohm if you talk about an universal op amp right and how much your voltage gain open loop voltage gain and how much is your gain bandwidth product okay so let us move ahead and you can see this is v1 and v2 that means your op amp is biased for both positive and both positive and negative power supply that is your op amp is dual uh, biased for dual rail power supply that means that it can it it can accept the positive and negative signal both right so so this is the power supply of this op amp that is 15 volt v1 and v2 and this is the this is the input signal of your operational amplifier and if you want to see what is the signal you can just click on here and you can see the parameter right like the initial voltage is 50 millivolt v on 50 millivolt t delay time rise time fall time and t on period and t off period right so let me run the simulation and show you the waveform okay since your inverting terminal is shorted with your output that means your op amp is working as a voltage follower or voltage buffer your op amp is working as a buffer right so let me run the simulation here run the simulation go at window tile window vertically right you can see there is two images let me show you this is your input signal start from minus 50 volt and tends to 50 volt right and let me show you the output signal so your output signal also start from minus 50 volt and goes to 15 volt and again down and you can see here how your output signal is slowing here okay so you can see here your output signal is is not exact the exact the replica of your input signal that means here here the impact of slew rate comes into the picture okay if there is a uh, because of this slew rate your output signal is from here it is not following the input signal so guys hope you you have understood what is universal loop and how you can use in your application and how you, you can see in the simulation of universal opm if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video